play soccer together. We minister you. We minister to your family. We coach you through grueling labors as you struggle to have children. We help you believe in your personal strengths as you gain the confidence needed for parenting. We kneel on the hard floor next to you, work relentlessly to help your baby learn to breastfeed. We work 12-hour shifts, and sometimes we never even stop for a bathroom break because you need us. We are there for you in surgery, listening to your anxieties patiently and offering soothing reassurance. We hold your hand when you are scared, offer a quiet assurance that you are not alone. We care for your mothers, your fathers, with a sense of respect and compassionate effort to help them maintain their dignity. We listen to you about their crises and manage to individuals their plan of care. You set goals with you in rehab and work by your side to help you achieve these goals. We are your next door to you. We don't live on some commune eating alfalfa leaves with our crazy ideas. We are everyday people. You have seen us, you have trusted us, and you know we have been passionate about the care we have provided to you. We love our profession and the opportunity they give us to minister to you. Now, we need your help. As a group of healthcare workers, we are being mandated by a new New York State law to receive the seasonal flu vaccine and the H1N1 vaccines. If we do not receive these vaccines by November 30th, that inaction is to be considered our resignation. We must sign a consent for these vaccines prior to their administration. The manufacturers have been granted immunity by the government. They cannot be sued for untoward effects. We do not want to receive these vaccines. Our educated studies of risks versus benefits conclude that the risks of the vaccine are greater than the possible benefits. You know us. You know we live by first, do no harm. We have many times extended ourselves to you, but our research concluded these vaccines are not a safe choice for us. For many of us, being forced to receive the vaccine would be forced to compromise our religious principles. All healthcare workers with direct patient care are mandated to receive the vaccine. So it's real. We cannot just go find a job someplace else. And on the job market of 2009, does not offer opportunities in a different air arena where we would still feed our families. We understand that fear that swine flu and influenza has generated. While our sources information indicate that swine flu is not a pandemic, we know that the slanted research fed by the media offers results intended to frighten the public. We do not have the power to stop that fear that mass hype is able to generate. However, we can wear masks and continue to practice our aggressive hand washing during peak flu season, if that is what we assures you. We hear the hype you are fed. We do not want to bring you harm, but we should not be forced into harm's way ourselves. The seasonal flu vaccine is a guess as to what epidemiologists thinks will present the coming year as flu. Many of the guesses have been wrong. And each year the vaccine is loaded with toxins and preservatives injected into muscle tissue, muscle tissue, which is not meant to filter toxin. It has clear risks. We have healthy immune system, which God gave us to fight diseases. This seasonal flu vaccine is new every year. So can you tell us how well it is tested? In that respect, the H1N1 vaccine has been rushed out with minimal testing. Testing was to occur over a three week period and in that rush to be the fastest providers of the vaccines, manufacturers were funded by production before that brief period was even concluded. This law should have never been passed through a governing body in the United States of America. It violates the Bill of Rights. It declares our freedom to practice our religion and expects us to compromise our moral code by penalizing us with the loss of employment. It mandates consent under duress, which makes the consent itself invalid. It obtains us as human research subjects in a clinical trial that we do not want to consent to. It denies us our right to refuse a medication by putting us under duress. We are put in a situation of consortium and assault. We fear loss of employment by exercising our freedom of speech out against injustice. The United States is a different governing body than the democracy we learned about as children. The government has created a law that should have no legal standings, but we will lose our jobs unless we yield to the law. We do not want these injections in our body and should have that freedom of choice. We should be allowed to practice our freedom of religion in place we trust God, not medical establishments and political agendas. Please do not let New York State proceed with this law. It will only become a precedent for further violations of our freedom. 
We are everyday people, and we do not have the monetary means to fight this individually. It is a huge battle. The New York State Nursing Association has already spoken out against mandated vaccines when the law was just a bill, but their voices were not considered. We do not have time to wait for someone else to fight this battle. We need every individual's help to make a large public voice so that the government repeal this law or at the very least gain an injunction to stop the mandating so there is time for the law to be reviewed by the courts and be found unconstitutional. We have made it our profession to help and would like to continue to practice in New York State. We have been placed in a position that is terrifying to us. Commissioner Dames, you tell us we should not let us fear patient safety. Please do not insult us. We do take care of HIV patients during their postpartum hemorrhages. We provide VRE, wound care, and suction. We work 13 hours nonstop putting our patient desires above our basic body needs. There is a reason 60% of educated healthcare workers historically decline the seasonal vaccine. And there is even more opposition to the H1N1. It seems you'd like to use your position to threaten ours and play God with our lives. You are not our God, Commissioner Deems. We are perfectly willing to wear masks around our patients during the peak influenza season. We beg you to reconsider before New York State loses another group of dedicated healthcare workers. We will find our united voice and New York State will have a health crisis on December 1st without us. Please come to a reason. Where is your shot, Commissioner Deems?